Hey guys, let's learn how to play the theme song to Cheers. The opening riff is basically all you need to learn how to play. The song is in B flat. Uh, there's two flats in it. Right? And if you learn nothing else, just learn how to play the opening riff and you'll be dazzling people at holiday parties for years to come. So right hand only, it's basically uh, a B flat arpeggio starting at the D note. So D, F, B flat, D. Right? And then you play an F after that. When you add your left hand, so the left hand is going to be B flat, F, B flat again. And then when you play this F major chord, you just drop this B flat. Okay, so it's going to be cool. And then you repeat the exact same thing one octave below. So. basically halfway through the song right now. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so I remember when I was learning how to do this last week, the hardest part was doing that in two different octaves. So go back and forth once you get it. So you've got this. You add your left hand. Right, and then do it again. Do it back and forth a few times. Now, <clears throat> the verse part, super, super easy. It's a B flat in your left hand, followed by an F, and it's gonna walk back and forth. And then you're just gonna go with your right hand on the D and F right there to the C and A. So you're gonna go. Uh, chord but you don't have to know that um, I should say that after I run you through this as quickly as possible I'll just do another pass of the theory so that um, dorks can know a little bit about what's going on with the nuts and bolts of the music for now we're just gonna learn the notes so this is uh, an F minor chord so it's F a flat C and then there's a, a C in the bass with your or the C with your thumb and you're gonna go and then you play with your left hand just an A flat chord up here. And I listened to the TV show a lot and watched a bunch of tutorials online myself. Uh, and all of them got this wrong, according to me. Because it, it really goes up to a, a light feel after this more rooted feeling. So when it goes up to here, there's, it's almost rootless. There's very little happening. Uh, the, ba the lowest bass note is way up here. So. So it's going to be F minor, and then the next is a G major chord. So that's D, G, B natural. So you're going to go. So do that with me. Just We're just going to do the right hand really quick. Is then a C minor chord, so that's C, E 
flat, G, and then uh, you're gonna play a C with your left hand right here. And this is gonna go like this in the watch in the right hand. Watch carefully. So you're gonna hit the chord, and then you're gonna repeat. section right there so it's gonna go like this favorite chord in the whole thing which is going to set up the course uh, which you have a, an F major in the left hand uh, basically an F major which is F C and F again and then you're playing an E flat with the right hand so that's G B flat E flat so get that going G B flat E flat you got that now add your F major Show tunes chord. Sometimes you wanna... That's where that goes. And then we're gonna resolve to a B flat chord. So you can hear, you can do your double octaves if your piano goes that that low. Uh, your octave with the uh, B flat, and then you're gonna play a B flat chord with your right hand. So that's F sharp, or I'm sorry, F natural, B flat, and D natural. Right? And then you're going to play an A flat going down. So that's E flat, A flat, and C. And then you're going to play an E flat after that. So that's E flat, G, and B. So if, when we do it in real life, it's going to go. We're not there yet. So let's try to do this. Um, just pause it while you get your fingering right. So it's. So let's try that again. One more time. And then this walk up is F. So F in the in the left hand, and uh, an F and an A in your right hand, and then G, G here, G in your right hand, and a B flat, and then A, uh, and A and C here. So you're gonna go. It has that triplets feel, so it's. So it does that twice. So it's gonna go. That chord F with an e, e flat. The last little new part is it's a D flat. It's a D minor chord. So what you're going to do is you're going to play an F triad in your right hand, and then with uh, your left hand you're going to play a D. So it's going to. That means uh, A, C, F, and a D on your bass. And then that's going to go up to an E flat. So your hand's actually going to go down here. So that's G, B flat, and uh, E flat. So it's. And your left hand's going to be an E flat there. So it's like. And 
there's an F here. Duh. So that's A, C, and F, and an F and then uh, And that's gonna go to the B flat. It's gonna resolve to a B flat, which I play this way. Uh, it B flat, F, and B flat here. And then D, F, B flat, D. So let's go through a whole chorus right there. From the from the show tunes chord. Except then you play with your left hand a, a B, basically a B major uh, chord, which is B, F, uh, B flat, F, and B flat. So, so it's gonna go. Sounds just like the TV show. Okay, <clears throat> let's uh, just go through the whole thing, and we're just—I'm not gonna break it down. I'm just gonna put it into pieces and play it all the way through so you can kind of follow along. So here we go from the top. It's going to go... That's the song. Quick mu music theory lesson. I'm always um, interested in what's going on behind the music, and uh, so I'm going to break it down for you guys. Like I said, this is in B flat, so that's that first chord is. And that's a five chord. What's happening? They're playing the F. F major is the five of B flat. So it's a it's a it's a five chord with your right hand, uh, but you're pedaling. B flat with your left hand, so that's where you get that that kind of chewy sound. So repeat that, and then this is a B flat chord, basically B flat triad. So it's a one, five, F major. It's a very widely voiced F major, but it sounds beautiful. this from where the the modulation is heading it's going to C minor here it's going to land there so what this F minor chord how it functions 
is it, it, it's that it, it's a minor four, which is enharmonic in the key of C minor. So he's, he's setting you up. The guy, who, it's a dude who wrote the song. He's setting you up to hear the C minor. So that's a uh, a four in the new C minor key. So it would be a four, you could call it a four of minor two, a five of minor two, followed by the two. So it's kind of lands on that two. And that really makes your ear now think that that's suddenly we're in C minor. So that when this chord happens, which is basically functioning as a five chord of the original B flat of one, um, <clears throat> That chord just sounds so exotic. Um, it sounds exotic by itself. Uh, really, it's a you're just playing a, a four a, uh, over a five chord. Um, <clears throat> but because of that quick moment that we had in C minor, this sounds just like whoa, brand new. And then what? It just keeps going. Uh, it's gonna land on one. It's our original key. So we're back to the original key now. But what he's done is he, now we're playing an A flat, which is a flat seven in, in B minor. And you hear this all the time in music, a, a, a one, seven, four. Um, and what that does is it really masks the uh, tonality of B flat when you start putting a seven in. dorky but uh, the one is a one still we're going flat seven and then we're going to four but you could also analyze this if you started from E flat major that this being the one chord A flat is the four B flat is the five which wants to go back to E flat minor see now your ear thinks that this now we're, you think that we're in E flat So, uh, isn't that kind of a cool trick? He does that to you really quick. So, seven, 